Hey what's up you guys, it's Spartan, and today I'll be showing you guys the most insane Spartan mod I have ever seen for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So this mod completely converts the Empire faction into Sparta and allows you to join a Spartan kingdom in the war against Calridia. So you could fight alongside your fellow Spartan Empire against Kuzites, Azurai, Vikings, and all that kind of good stuff on the world map. And you can even join in and Leonidas' army and help King Leonidas take over Calridia for the Spartan Empire. So let's go ahead and jump straight into what this campaign map looks like, as well as I will show you guys a battle showcase between the Persians and Spartans just to show you guys how beautiful these troops look. All right, here we go. So we have spawned into this giant world and every single empire faction is now based around Sparta. So as you can see, the entire Northern Empire is now Sparta, and they all have Spartan armies as well as the Spartan leaders such as like Leonidas and Achilles and all the major Spartan leaders. And for example, you can go to any village you want and you can recruit any kind of Spartan soldier you want. So there's two different types. There's the Royal Spartans and then there's the normal Hellenic ones. There's even a Phalanx unit, which is really cool to see. So they have these massive Greek pikes that have a length of 421. And there's also some Royal Guard and three different cavalry units, surprisingly enough. They're not the greatest, but it's cool to see them there. And on top of that, there's actually Spartan Hoplites from the 300, which is cool to see. You can actually, you can only spawn that into the game, but it's cool to have a little optional custom battle if you want to use those soldiers. There's also a really cool feature that uh, you can actually add into the Spartan mod. Because this Spartan mod works for a lot of other mods. I have like 20 other mods working on this. You can actually join into a Spartan army and become a Spartan hoplite yourself or whatever you want. So let's go ahead and go to Leonidas himself right here, Emperor Leonidas. He looks a little scuffed, but like in battle, he looks so much better. There's something I'd like to discuss. And then I would like to serve in your warband as a soldier. So now all we have to do is leave. And now we have joined Leonidas in battle. So now we can like change our equipment. We can become a Spartan scrimmager a spartan hoplite a spartan recruit or a hellenic recruit honestly it'd be kind of fun to see the skirmisher but let's go ahead and go with the spartan hoplite so i'm gonna choose spartan hoplite and now as you can see i am a spartan hoplite with all the gear even like a golden i got a golden sword too i think a golden xiphos looks absolutely beautiful right there but um every time you go into a settlement you can actually train with your soldiers so i can go ahead and train with the troops and I can choose either melee, range, cavalry, or throwing. Uh oh, that kind of looks kind of sus back there. Everything's floating. Uh oh, hopefully this works. Um, we're going to go into melee and see if we can practice. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it does work. That kind of looks kind of sketchy. All right, so I can choose whatever weapon I want. I'm going to go with, actually, maybe a polearm. Okay, yeah, look at that. Polearm, 34, 35. Yeah. And the more I fight with them, the faster I level up my stats. And this works way faster than actual battle, which is kind of funny to see. And you just keep going basically until you back out or you get knocked out. Because it's a really, really fast way to level up your stats early on. Oh no, I was going to back out, but there's a Spartan champion coming. Is that a maul? What is that? A giant hammer? Dude, that doesn't look safe. Here, let's go beat the crap out of him. Oh. Actually, this might work. There we go. Nice. Spartan champion defeated. This is actually kind of fun. I know this is, supposed to, this is like really a early game thing to level up your skills, but this is actually kind of satisfying. Oh, shoot. Broke my posture. So if your posture gets broken, uh, you can um, your enemy can land attacks through your blocks, which is really cool to see too. I'll leave all the mods I use down in the description. All right, there we go. So we have been defeated, and now we need time to heal before we can go back into training. So if you guys want to try out this mod for yourself and join in Leonidas' army taking over all of Calaridia, I highly recommend checking out this mod. But let's go ahead and check out the troop showcase and show you guys Persia as well as the Spartan factions up close and all the different types of units. All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys what these soldiers look like and all the units that have been added in with this new mod. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our army right here before the Persians reach us. So right here, we have the Hellenic archers as well as Cretan archers. And we have some skirmishers as well, elite skirmishers. 
Spartan Champions, Black Pillow, Cop Lights. Looks absolutely beautiful. Another thing that's really cool too to see is all these different Greek shields look different. So they have all their different symbols from their different clans and all that kind of stuff. So whatever the clan they're part of, they'll have a shield that looks like their clan. So it's really cool to see them representing all the different factions of Sparta. But yeah, let's go ahead and get our archers and skirmishers back on this hill and see if our 300 Spartans can defeat their 1,000 Persians on an open field battle. You can tell whoever made this mod put a lot of effort into how the soldiers look and making them look as unique and as historically accurate as possible too. Look at this shield wall too and all their spears and their flags. And all their different shields have different symbols too, which is really cool to see from all the different Spartan factions out there. But hopefully we can, um, oh my god, hopefully we can hold our ground against these 1,000 Persians. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out their army. Look at these boys, man. All Persian custom-made soldiers too. They even have some like clan emblems on their shields too, some Persian clan emblems. Looks pretty nice. They also have some mixed soldiers too, so they have some like infantry with bow capabilities or range capabilities. Look at that, man. Oh yeah, and they have the Persian mortals too as their special forces. And they also have the cataphracts. So, oh no, they're cataphracts. Oh shoot. Oh man, I forgot about them. They snuck around the sides, man. Are they the oh no, they're going for my archers. Oh yeah, our archers are all gonna get wiped, but who cares about Spartan archers anyways? Alright, here we go. Shields are doing a pretty good job of holding these uh, the arrows. Are you blocking the arrows? Let's get a little slow motion of this line battle between the Spartans and the Persians. So, hopefully we can absolutely slaughter their infantry and their cavalry doesn't mess us up too badly. Or at least any more badly than it already is. Oh, look at that, man. Getting a little surrounded, but they're doing really good with their spear wall up front. I mean, the Persians could just easily wrap around us, but I guess they're not going to do that. Look at that. It's complete chaos, too. Oh, we got the the black Spartan hoplite. Oh, no, he just died. I was going to say he was holding it really well on the sides. Got some skirmishers still left, but they're getting shot down by the Persians' famed archers. Oof. Looking kind of sketchy. Let's go ahead and charge in our infantry, see what they can do. Oh, there we go. I got a cataphract off his horse. But, uh, yeah, it looks like charging was actually the right idea here. So we're doing a pretty good job at keeping our distance in the middle. Oh, we just got reinforcements that spawned in behind them, too. Let's see, how many we got? So, uh, we've lost... They've lost 200 soldiers, and we've lost 100. So I guess it's not going so well, but we'll see what happens. Got our phalanx men, too, running around. It's probably not the greatest idea. But I would honestly love to see a giant phalanx wall against, like, a horde of like peasants or something like that it'd be really interesting to watch all right we're gonna just charge in line formation to see if that helps oh it just knocked over that that immortal over there look at this spartan hoplite having a 1v1 against his persian I'm gonna ruin it there we go nice okay charging was a better idea look at that. okay they're retreating we gotta charge boys all right how what is it looking like 100 versus 400 that's not good we are definitely losing here but now, since they're retreating, we can throw our pilas, or at least our dories, I think they're called, and do a lot of damage there. Nice. You see, like, people, like, being flung around occasionally. It's so funny to watch. But they got tons of reinforcements out in the distance. Look at that, man. There we go. Nice. Okay, um, we got 50 soldiers versus their 450. It's not looking so good. Oh, uh, I think we're going to lose this. We only have our Spartan elites left right here. They have just so many soldiers, man. I guess it was our fault, though, because we lost, like, half our army and all of our archers and cav right off the bat because they're uh, cataphracts. Oh, no! No! Oh, there goes my 300 Spartan. Look at that. Our last of our Spartans running away. Here, let's see if we can grab a couple. Fight. Oh, shoot. Spartans don't run, boys. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it looks like we're completely slaughtered here. There's just too many archers and too many cataphracts. All right, so the Persians did win this battle, but we will take our revenge in the campaign, and we will take all of their territory for this. Oh, it does look like the Spartan champions and the Spartan hoplites got almost 300 kills together. They actually, no, they got exactly 300 kills together. That's actually ironic. 
that's awesome to see. And the armor top plates did a lot of work too. So overall, the Spartan champions did the best out of all the different units. So I hope you guys enjoyed that mod showcase, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Spartans.